being single that there are hard places for us to find places to connect. Um, even, you know, um, how, how we are or not addressed, even from the pulpit. Um, and that is just something also that I will say that I can struggle with. And I'm going to use a really, uh, an, uh, an example that for many years I stopped going to church on Mother's Day because um, it was only talked about mums, um, celebrating mums. And I, you know, I just, I felt bad for me one as a single woman, but I felt bad for many of the single women who may be single because of divorce, because of death. It, it just, it hurt. So there were probably, I wanna say three or four, maybe even five years, I just didn't go to church on Mother's Day because I thought, I feel bad enough being single, sometimes, not all the time, but to be reminded that you're not one of these. It was hard. Um, so that was probably hard. But I'd say where I have loved and where I have loved being single in is in through this role of serving, um, is through this role of being available. You know, my mother was for me my model, um, my role model of of love and sacrifice. Um, that if she knew that there was a need, she may not have always been able to give the way they may have needed it, but she would step in and, and offer assistance in some way. And I see that just very directly. And those are gifts to me that comes into my profession as a counselor, um, the role in the church with uh, the care team that I'm, I'm a part of and as a, a professor. Over the years that I've been teaching, when I see students who graduate and we continue somehow staying connected with one another, just really um, learning from them, their passion for what they do. Not that they got that from me because they had a desire to go into counseling anyways, but um, seeing that there is a value in just investing in someone else's life and being and feeling good about being able to do that. That does me, that gives me great joy. I like thinking about it from the perspective of she has grandkids and great grandkids that she just never knew she had. Um, and the same is true for me that I have grandkids and great-grandkids and will have great-great-grandkids. I remember when I was in college, I was sharing my faith and uh, gave a, a gospel invitation at the end of um, my, that talk that I was doing. And it was, I wanna say it was three, three or four years later. I don't even remember when, but um, I was at a conference um, and this kid came up to me and he said, I don't know if you remember, and I didn't. Um, but he said, I owe to you sharing your faith at a meeting that it was when I made a profession of faith for Christ. And he said, I just want to thank you for being someone who invested in my life. But it was probably the first time that I realized um, the difference that a voice and investment in somebody else's life can make that brings about change in their life.